In this video lesson, you will learn how to multiply rational algebraic expressions. But before that, let us recall on how to multiply fractions. Let's have 4 over 3 times 5 over 7. If you cannot simplify any of the given, you will just multiply the numerator times the numerator, 4 times 5, that is 20, over the denominator times the denominator, 3 times 7, that is 21. So we cannot simplify 20 and 21, so this is the answer for this example. Next, let us have 2 over 3 times 9 over 2. We can cancel terms that are common in the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, we have 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. So 2 divided by 2, that will become 1. And then, we can simplify 9 and 3. So we can divide both by 3. 9 divided by 3, that will become 3. And then 3 divided by 3, that will become 1. And then, you will just multiply the numerator by the numerator. 1 times 3, that is 3. And then the denominator by the denominator, 1 times 1, that is 1. So since it is in the denominator, you don't need to write it. So the answer here is 3. Of the first example, we will multiply 37x over 2y times y over 4. So here, we have common term in the numerator and denominator, and that is y. So we will just cancel y. Remember, you can cancel terms if they are common and they are in different position. So in the numerator, the remaining terms are 37x over, you multiply the denominator by the denominator, 2 times 4, that is 8. Can we simplify 37 and 8? No, because 37 is already prime. So here is the answer for this example. We will multiply 15y over 2y by 2y over 5x squared. As you can observe, we have common factor in the numerator and denominator. 2 divided by 2, that will become 1. y divided by y, that will become 1. And then we can simplify 15 and 5. We can divide both by 5. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. And then 5 divided by 5, that will become 1. Next, we will just multiply the remaining terms in the numerator. 3 times y, that will become 3y, over 1 times x squared, that is x squared. Can we still cancel common terms? I think not, so this is the final answer. Let us have example number 3, but in this example, we need to apply the factoring method. We have x squared minus 4 over 2 times 4 over x minus 2. In the first rational algebraic expression, in the numerator, we need to factor x squared minus 4. So we will use difference of two squares. If you forget how to factor using difference of two squares, you need to revisit the video lesson about it. So the factors of the numerator are x plus 2 and x minus 2. So in factoring dots, you have in factoring dots, you need to have different sign answers. And then copy the denominator times 4 over x minus 2. Now we can cancel common factors. So in the numerator we have x minus 2, same as in the denominator x minus 2. So we can cancel them. They will become 1, and then 4 and 2, they are divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2, it will become 2, and then 2 divided by 2, it will become 1. 
Then, we will write the remaining terms in the numerator. So, we have x plus 2 and 2. So, we will first write the constant. Next, we need to multiply the numerator by the numerator. So, we have constant 2. So, we will write first the constant 2 times x plus 2. Do we need to write 1 in the denominator? No, because it is already understood. Simplify your answer. So, we will use distributive method here. 2 times x, that will become 2x. 2 times 2, that will become 4. Copy the sign. So, we have 2x plus 4. x minus 5 over x squared minus 7x plus 10 times x squared plus x minus 6 over 5. So, in this example, we need to apply factoring general trinomial. We will copy the numerator over what factors of 10 that if you add them, you will get 7. So, we have 5 and 2. So, we will write the factors of x squared the factors of 10 that will give you 7 as a sum. So we have 5 and 2. And then you copy the sign of the middle term. Since the third term is positive, same sign, negative, times. In the numerator, we will also apply general trinomial. What factors of 6 that if you subtract them, it will give you 1 as the answer. So we have 3 and 2. Write the factors of x squared, and then the factors of 6, 3, and 2. The sign of the middle term will be followed by the higher factor, which is 3, plus, and then 2 will become minus over 5. Next, we can cancel common factors. So we have x minus 5, x minus 5. You can cancel them because they are in different position, x minus 2, x minus 2. And then we will write the remaining terms x plus 3 over 5. So this is the final answer.